oceans face five major challenges globally. These include overfishing, uh, loss of coastal, ocean and coastal habitat like coral reefs and mangroves, uh, invasive species, uh, species that are often carried in ship ballast water and on their hulls that can create havoc in ecosystems when they're introduced. Um, pollution, particularly pollution from nutrients uh, off farms, off wastewater, and also um, from plastics, the growing issue is marine plastics. And then lastly, a major issue linked to climate change is called ocean acidification, where a lot of the CO2 that's building up in the atmosphere uh, from anthropogenic emissions of carbon dioxide are causing the oceans to acidify perhaps at the fastest rate in at least 35 million years. What's needed is much stronger institutions at the national level, at the regional ocean, to manage fisheries, bringing in good science to know, you know how many fish is safe to keep catch uh, while not impacting the overall ecosystem, uh, and uh, better, better enforcement of regulations, laws regarding fishing. Uh, there's a big problem with IUU, which is illegal, unreported, and unregulated fishing. So much as 20% or so of fish are caught in the ocean illegally. So all of these issues have to be addressed if we're going to take a, a comprehensive approach. But we've done some recent analysis that show that taking some of the key uh, sectoral changes and, and reforms that are needed to sustain the oceans would probably, in most cases, create net new jobs. So whether it's improving recycling programs for plastics, which will create jobs, to better management of fertilizer and other nutrient pollution sources on farms, to how ships deal with the issue of how uh, they clean up their ballast water from invasive species, all of these um, new and additional steps that the world needs to take would very likely be net job creators, and in some cases quite substantial ones. And with, with job creation comes economic growth. Great. So what can the average citizen in any country do? Well, certainly obvious ones come up relating to um, the, the, the seriously, rapidly becoming more serious issue of ocean plastics. Obviously not throwing things away in a way that they might find their way into rivers, into waterways, into beaches to reduce the burden. Um, on uh, overfishing, there's a number of very good uh, organizations around the world that have helped to uh, certify various fisheries as being fished sustainably. And so a consumer can educate themselves about what these organizations are and even often have labels on fish sold in, in some supermarkets in the world where you can be fairly well ensured that that fish was caught more sustainably. Mm -hmm.